And now, in this week's Hot Trends, as the winter approaches, many of us like to play board games to pass the time. Well, a local company has come up with a new game called Love It, Hate It, the game of no intel, and you can personalize the game. And we have, joining us from Patch Products is Lisa Winneman and Charlie to help us play. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having us on. Okay, so basically we're gonna kind of roll through this Charlie will be asking questions. We personalize it for Charlie, mm -hmm. and we have to guess what he would love or hate. Yep, so go ahead with your first question. All right, first question. For my upcoming wedding, I would love it if blank attended. I'm going to, so it's Lisa and I, and then Tim, one of our uh, crew people are playing. I'm going to guess, love it if Christine attended. And Christine I'm gonna, who? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to say, love it if Weather Channel meteorologist Jim Cantori attended. And I'm going to say, Bucky Bear. Bucky Badger from Crew. So you have to pick. No pressure. Uh, I, I will take Christine, I guess, Thank if you. those are my three choices. So then what happens? She's the only one I know. <laughs> Thank you. So Gosh. you get to award Christine a love it ship. Okay, there and these go. are the questions, too. These are the answers. Those are the yeah. answers. So you get yeah. to tailor make them and erase them as well. Yes. All right, and I would hate it if blank attended. Christine. <laughs> <laughs> And I was going to say um, Will Ferrell's character in Anchorman, Ron Burgundy. Tim? Uh, Michigan State Spartans. Michigan there you go, State 16. Spartans. I am I'd in love it and hate it. <laughs> All right, uh, next question. If something out of the ordinary were to happen on my wedding day, I would love it if it were... A hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> An Elvis impersonator at the wedding. Tim? Badger game? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Bucky Badger game. Uh, I, I will take I will take Tim's in that. I'll 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 edit it and say that uh, they'll come on ESPN during my wedding and say that uh, it actually wasn't a touchdown at the end of that game. Oh yeah, the yeah, hail that Mary. would be out of the ordinary. All right, so Tim, you get a hate it chip, right? And I would hate it if it were something out of the ordinary happens. I would hate it if it were. Oh, you get a love it chip. What am I saying? Wait, sorry about that. You would hate it if a hurricane hit. If you lost your wedding attire. <laughs> yeah, I would, hate, I would hate that. Airport I, security, you know. Yes, I, I'd hate all of them. Actually, I'd probably hate it more if I lost my attire. Well, great, thank you. The hurricane struck oh, yes. because I, I've already resigned to the fact that that the hurricane is going to strike. So you get it. This is what you do. You just tailor make the game. How much does it cost? It's $25. You can buy it at Toys R Us. Mm -hmm. And it's currently up for a People's Play Award for the party game category this fall. So if consumers like the game, they can go to timetoplaymagazine.com and vote for it. We hope everybody will vote by November 28th, and maybe we will have an award-winning game on our hands this holiday. Oh, that would All be right. awesome. I think these are just great that you can just write out your questions. Yeah change the game you, so that way you could play with teens preteens you could play with your grandparents right you can play mm -hmm. with everybody and it's so much the scenarios are so much fun so oh yeah you can come up with some pretty fun scenarios here how, how, so some of these cards if a relative invited me to accompany them on a cruise vacation i would love it if it were blank i would hate it if it were blank Ooh, Ooh. That would be a tough one to yeah, answer Especially around. if you're playing with relatives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but these are great, so you don't have to personalize it, but I think it's no. kind of, it can get creative. If we have time, we can still do one for you, Christine. Oh, sure, really quick. Okay. Just roll it. So if something were stuck to the bottom of your shoe, you would love it if it were a $100 bill, um, a ticket to the Twilight movie that's coming out, or another pair of shoes. Uh, Twilight movie. Ticket to the Twilight movie coming out. Piece okay. of toilet paper. <laughs> and she yeah, would... It comes out of the bathroom. I would want if Brad Pitt were stuck to the bottom of we her shoe. We have to do hate it. Now, she would hate it. If something were stuck to the bottom of her shoe, she would hate it if it was a creepy crawly bug, if it was toilet paper, or if it was dog poo. Oh, dog poo. And all three have happened to me before. <laughs> so, you know what? I've been there, done that. You know. <laughs> That's why I have lots of shoes. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking right. with it. There you go. Lisa Winneman with Patch Products, thank you so much. Love it or hate it on sale right now at Toys R Us. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank All you. Right. Thanks for coming in.